In this video, we'll figure out which of these elements on the periodic table here corresponds to the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So the first thing we could do, there's two ways to do it. The first way, just count up the electrons. When we do that, these numbers here equal 12. So we have 12 electrons. In a neutral atom, and all the elements on the periodic table are neutral, the number of electrons equals protons. So all we need to do is figure out which element here has an atomic number of 12. That's 12 protons, and then that'll equal the electrons. So here we go. Magnesium, Ng, has an atomic number of 12. So it has 12 protons, since it's neutral, 12 electrons. So this is the electron configuration for magnesium. There's another way we can do this. We could look at the periodic table based on orbital blocks. So here's the periodic table. We have the s orbital block that holds up to two. So we have s1, all of these end in s1. All of these have a configuration that ends in s2. Then we go to the d orbital block that can hold up to 10 electrons. So we go d1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10. We have the p, which can hold up to six. So p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we're looking at something that ends in 3s2. So we go down 1, 2, 3, here's s1, and here's s2. So this element right here ends in 3s2. So this is our element for the configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements written in. So we come back, and here's magnesium. So it's the same thing. We get the same answer. The electron configuration for Mg on the periodic table, that ends in the 3s2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.